this is Debbie with The Crafty Diamond. Hope everyone is doing well. Thanks so much um, for stopping by for another video. In today's video, I'm going to do a whip and chat. And if you're not familiar with what a whip and chat is, that is a work in progress. And I'll be chatting about my week and about diamond painting. Anything else that um, happens to come along. I am working on the house on the cliff from Diamond Art Club. And this is a 98 centimeter by 70 centimeter. And it is going to be gorgeous. It is large. It has a substantial amount of confetti. It does have a little bit of color blocking, but um, that is not very much. So it has taken me a lot longer and um, to do smaller sections, which is fine. Um, and when I'm done, I'm going to show you my progress. I'm going to show you my progress um, sometime this week too, because this one I have not seen done yet. It is fairly new from Diamond Art Club. I'm not sure if they have any in stock any longer. This came with the mystery boxes that they had. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I want to go ahead and start with um, 310. I like to outline, if I have an outline, I like to go ahead and get that done first in my sections. Normally when I am sectioning off my canvas, I typically will use washi tape. On this one, because I thought it's so large, I would just section it off with a couple pieces of release paper and then just move the release paper as I go up. I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue doing that. I used to enjoy doing it that way. But now I've gotten used to the washi tape method and I'm kind of missing that. Um, but I still have plenty of time because I have not gotten very far with this one. Um, I am using a um, tray today that um, is a custom made tray that I absolutely love. I'm also um, using from Branda's Crafty Corner, I am using her putty in my single placer. I'm even liking it in the single placer now. And for my multi placer, which I'm not really using that much um, right now, but I am using Enablers Outpost, um, their chit. And I really do like that because once you put it in there, it stays in there for a very long time. So that has been really nice. It saved me on having to stop and to put more putty in. And I have a seven placer and I have a four placer that I'm using that I have um, available right now. I can use my seven placer as a four placer as well. Sometimes um, I'll do that. And then a lot of times on my whip and chats, instead of multi-placing, I will just single place because that way I don't really have to think about it, make sure that it's straight while I'm talking. And um, sometimes I get distracted when I'm talking and then I just don't think about it. Like right now, I'm just single placing. So how is everyone doing today? That's always the first thing that I like to ask on my whipping chats. It feels like it's been a long time since I've had a whipping chat and been able to chat with you guys because I decided to change up instead of having my whipping chats on Friday. I decided that I would start doing whip and chats on Tuesday. That just works out better for me. So last Friday, I didn't have a whip and chat, but I did um, kit down. And also I kitted up during the week. So I did that in place of a whip and chat, but it's still not the same to me. I just like doing the whip and chats. So hopefully um, you will have enjoyed this one as well. And maybe you've missed me having one last week. So we'll definitely um, get caught up. I am using a light pad that I've recently purchased. And I really am liking this light pad. I like it for several reasons. One is that it is larger and then my other light pad. And also um, you can adjust how bright that you want it. You can also adjust the type of lighting. So that is um, really important to me as well. And then also I like that the cord is actually attached. It doesn't come off and so it's, it's not, 
The only downside is that um, I it's not wireless, so it does have a cord, but I like it because the cord is on the opposite end of um, where I have the light pad um, positioned. Also, I like the fact that the um, the actual on and off switch is on the cord itself, so I'm not constantly hitting the on and off switch, which I tend to do, and then I'm constantly turning off my light pad. But I do like the size of this one. I will link it underneath my Amazon links in case you're interested. And with Amazon, I may receive a small commission if you purchase something. And it doesn't even have to be a purchase from my link. You can simply use one of my links. And then when you're on Amazon, you can purchase anything. Whatever you purchase also goes towards my actual commission. So just wanted to um, point that out so you're aware. And, you know, I'm not trying to sell anything. I just... Um, I thought I'd let you guys know that if you do use one of my links, that that's what's going to happen. I just want you to be aware that I may receive some funds from that. I'm also an affiliate with um, Diamond Art Club. So if you have never purchased from Diamond Art Club, you can save a little bit by using my code. And even if you don't use my code, use somebody's code or use a code even from one that Diamond Art Club may have, um, because there's always codes for Diamond Art Club for anything. Even if you are not new to Diamond Art Club, there's codes out there. And then once you purchase from Diamond Art Club, then you can um, start earning points towards um, free merchandise or free shipping, or even you know a percentage off or an amount off. So that's really good and that's free. You don't have to pay anything to be in the rewards club. So you can always find rewards somewhere. And if you're part of their VIP group on Facebook, you can also receive a code. And sometimes the codes change, they haven't changed in a while, but you can receive a code and you can get anywhere from 10 to 20% off depending on what they have for that particular month. A lot of my kits, I would say the majority of my kits are Diamond Art Club, but I am trying to branch out. I've decided that um, if I'm going to purchase some more kits, I have plenty of Diamond Art Club. I need to branch out more and purchase from other companies, and especially companies that um, you may not be as familiar with. And so that way you might can find something else that you would like to do as well. And that's one of my goals for next year. I'm working on goals now just to trying to finalize what I want to do diamond painting wise for next year. But one of them is to branch out to have more than just a couple of companies that I'm working on. I have several that I've purchased from and even unboxed on my channel, but I have not started on them yet. So that's something that I really need to focus on but I'm also trying to get some of my older ones done and out of my stash so I can start focusing on new ones. So that's something else that I wanna do as well. So a lot of things I'm thinking about, I just haven't done anything with it. I have um, some whips that I'm working on that I want to get completed, so I don't wanna start on anything else until those are done. This one's going to take me a while, so this one will be one of my larger ones. Plus, I'll do you know another one that's a little bit smaller once I finish up my Cauldron of Myrrh. And that one will be done by the end of October. At least that's the plan. And then, of course, I am still working on Diana. I've kind of put that one um, aside. I worked on it for some, this, some um, of the month I have worked on it. And I need to work on her some more, but then I really am focusing on getting Cauldron of Murder done. Not only because I'm doing it for two events that end in October, but also I want to start on some fall kits that I have planned for November. And then I want to do um, a holiday one for December. 
And then I also have my Advent that will be coming and we'll discuss that in just a little bit. I am really looking forward to getting more of this one done because it is really pretty. Just as little as I've done, I can just tell how pretty that it is. This one has all of the newer diamonds, so that's definitely a good thing. So normally I start out with just what's happened during the week, and I kind of just started out with Diamond Art Club and what I'm working on. But, and I'll go back to that um, later, but let's see. We're all healthy, which is a good thing. Even my daughter, who tends to be um, sick this time of year, she is doing very well. Um, she is still having a little bit of pain from her wisdom teeth being removed, but for the most part, she's not complaining about it anymore. So that's definitely a plus. I'm really excited about that. She's able to eat solid foods now, which is definitely good. My oldest daughter had gotten hurt at work um, with her leg, but she's doing fine now. So that's, I was definitely thankful for that because she did go to an urgent clinic just to make sure that nothing was broken or sprained and she was okay to get cleared to go back to work. And then we found out that workers comp does not work the way that we thought it did, the way it used to work anyway. No telling when it's changed because my husband and I have not had to have workers comp for anything, but in Georgia, you have to be out of work for at least a week before workers' comp will even kick in. So she, when she went to the urgent care, they would not pay for it because they did not tell her to go to urgent care. And so because they did not tell her to go to urgent care, it's not considered an emergency. It's not considered um, a workers' comp claim. So luckily we have insurance and the insurance will pay for most of that. If not all, hopefully it'll pay for all but um, our copay, but you know, we'll see. Um, but then she was out of work for two and a half days. They did pay for one of the days that she was out, but they did not pay for the other day and a half that she was out. So, She'll just be out the money on that. She doesn't have any more vacation days because she is going to be going out of town and taking vacation in November. And so because of that, she's not going to have any more days. And they only get like two or three sick days a year. And she developed the... She, was, she got really sick twice um, because of the pandemic. And so she was out for that. So she doesn't have any more sick time. So she'll just have to hopefully have enough money in her savings or that she has gotten enough to cover. Well, let's see what color I'm going to do. Some of these I need to fill in. I started working on this earlier today and then I thought I'm just gonna stop and I'll do this on my ribbon chat. So I am missing some at the bottom. I did make this one a little bit wider than what I would have liked to, I think. I'm hoping, let me see. I'm trying to move you over a little, then I can see a little better. That's a little better. I hope you don't have a glare with the light pad, and my chair is squeaky yet again. I had to stop recording for a minute because my husband is taking some vacation time if he doesn't use it by the end of the year, he's going to lose several days or even weeks on vacation. He just hasn't taken that much this year. And so he's taken off to do some things around the house and um, just to basically take off. So he came down here and he was looking for something in the basement. And then he opened, we have a side garage door on the basement. And he um, opened the door and the dog shot out. And she just looked at him. She didn't even know what she was doing. He just called her and she came right back in, which I knew she would. She's really, she minds very well. So hopefully he won't be making a lot of noise. He's doing, he's cleaning out, I think the gutters are doing something outside. We are supposed to have 
some freezing weather already, and this is only October, so it's very unusual um, for our Georgia weather. And it's been so nice. Yesterday it was in the 80s, and then today it's I'm in the 60s, and tomorrow morning it is supposed to be below freezing, or right at freezing. And the wind's starting to blow already. This to me is just not fall. I don't know what's happened or what's happening, but I do not like winter. I need some fall. I love October, but I'm not enjoying this so much. I just do not like winter. I'm just dreading it. I'm getting our fall things out and now I'm having to get some winter things out for tomorrow. I'm having to go on a business trip. All the faculty that um, is at all the different locations at my school has to go tomorrow and so I have to drive for about an hour and a half and it's going to be much colder there than it is here. And then I will be there until the afternoon and then I'll come home, but it's gonna be a long day and all day just listening to um, different presenters and different things. So that's always makes for a really long day. Then I'll have to come home and check my emails and see if I have anything that students have left me. So that's gonna, be a very tiring day tomorrow. I probably will not get any diamond painting done. I might be able to maybe a little bit after dinner tomorrow night. It's kind of what I'm hoping. But we'll see. There's some more down here. This one's going to be so pretty. I wasn't really sure. Um, I had traded this one for another one that I had because it wasn't, I had gotten a different mystery box. And then I saw this one, I thought, I don't wanna wait. And it does have kind of a fall vibe to it. So maybe I can get this finished by the end of November. And that would be really cool. And I do have this one that I showed on my um, monthly, the end of the month report of what I did my progress, and so this one was on there. Let's see, I'm just kind of all over the place. Um, back to our week. As I mentioned, Maddie's doing well, and Paige is doing very well. Um, she had a half a day off today, which is Monday, and so she was glad about that. They get it a half a day, about once a month or so, and then next month they won't get a half a day because they'll get a week off for vac um, vacation, for Thanksgiving, and they'll also get a day off for, um, for our voting. A lot of the precincts are in schools around here, and so they just close the schools for the day and she will have that day off, and so that will be nice. And then she'll go, and she always goes and votes with me. They even let her go up um, and vote. She doesn't have to stay behind. A lot, of, a lot of places won't let anybody go up there with you, um, but starting next year, she will be able to vote. So that will be pretty cool. I wasn't sure whenever I became her guardian if she would lose the voting rights and she doesn't because at first it says that they when you become a guardian that you lose they lose voting rights they can't drive they can't work but that's not true um there's certain things that they can and can't do but they can still even live independently if they needed you know if they were if they were able to not needed but if they were able to they could live independently but um my daughter won't be able to so anyway, um, let's see, what all have we been up to? Other than working, work always gets so busy this time of year because we are at midterms. We're starting to think of end of the semester. So we're making sure that all the projects, everything is ready for students and all the final exams and all of that stuff um, is already done um, and ready for students um, in 
November, December. And then we also have a week off in November. So that makes it, um, you know, really even more busy. And then on top of that, we already have our spring semester um, class shells. And so I have to go through and set up six classes for next semester. And I need to get that done. Um, that shouldn't take me too horribly long. Although it does, it does take a while, but it shouldn't take too long. So I wanna get everything done before the end of November because in December, I'm going to have three and a half weeks off. So that will be so nice. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm not gonna have to check emails or anything. So as long as I have everything set up for my January classes, and they definitely will be. I'll have everything done. And then I can spend time in my craft room. I can spend time purging some things. I um, am going through my craft room and things that I have not used all year. I'm debating if I want to keep them or if I want to put them in a different place and then see if I use them by the end of next year. And if I don't use it um, at all by the end of next year, then that's probably something that I'm never going to use. And that's when it's going to be time to um, purge, either to give away or to sell or you know whatever that I decide to do with it. A lot of times I will give it to schools and daycares, that kind of thing. Um, and even to some nursing homes, I've done that before. Some assisted livings, because they don't have a lot of money and that they, or if they do, they don't invest it in, you know, crafts and that kind of thing. And a lot of older people still enjoy crafting. And even on assisted living, some are not older. I mean, some are young adults and they enjoy crafting. And so I've done that before too. So that's on my to-do list, but really I want to just sit back and have my house decorated. And then once that's done, then I want to just be able to diamond paint to have that much time. To, I don't usually have that much time to diamond paint like that. So that will be a lot of fun. And of course, plans can change, but that's what my plan is right now, just to really get focus on things, get things done. And then I want to look and see what I'm going to work on next year and maybe put that in a different stack so it's easier to find. That would be really nice. I'm searching for S's. And I have missed some. I'm kind of up and over on this. Um, let's see. So what are you guys working on? Are you working on any events or are you just working on what you want to? I am debating on next year's events. I've been looking at a calendar that Mr. and Mrs. Dubay, um, that they have on their Instagram and they have quite a few that I'm interested in for next year, but then I'm thinking maybe I should just hold off, not do any events, and then just do my own thing so I can get some of the ones that I've been holding back completed. Um, but I don't know because I'm also thinking on the flip side, if I decide to go for events, then I know what I have to do that I have to go through and use something in my stash that's going to work for that event. I don't buy canvases just for an event. I um, make sure I have the canvases, except for like Summer with the Masters, I always do because there's always something new and I do like doing that. But I already have something that I bought this year that I will probably use for next year. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel about events for next year yet. And I hate not to participate. Then I feel like I'm going to have 
you know, I'm going to miss out. And I don't, I don't participate for any prizes or anything like that. Every once in a while, I'll put my name in for, you know, something. But usually I don't because I have everything that I need. I want to be able to have that open for others that, um, you know, really want something. Like maybe they can't get it for some reason or the other. And so I just usually don't. But I like the fact that I'm using the hashtag for the event, even though you know I may not fill out an entry or an exit form, um, completion form, then I still um, enjoy doing it because I'm still part of the event. I still use the hashtags and I follow along and on all the um, videos and whip and chats. And, and so I do enjoy doing that because I'm doing the same thing that others are doing or the same type, same theme. So what do you guys think about events? Are you planning on doing anything for next year? Or have you decided not to? Do you like doing events? I think I've even asked that before. And if I have, I apologize, but I'm pretty sure I may, I may have at this point. But anyway, that's quite all right. We went shopping yesterday to um, a home store and it has a variety of things. And so we were looking for outdoor cushions that we um, were really in need of for our outdoor patio furniture. And so we thought we'd go ahead and get it now that it might be on sale. Well, no, it wasn't on sale, but we did get some that we really liked. And then we went, we were looking at some Halloween decorations, which we really, we don't decorate for Halloween, but we were just kind of looking to see, you know, what all they had just for something to do. And there was Halloween decorations, and right across from Halloween decorations, there were Christmas decorations. And they had Christmas trees, and Christmas trees were on sale, and all kinds of ornaments and different things for outside. And I almost bought something, and we were in um, my husband's car instead of his truck. And so I thought, eh, if I buy something, I may have a hard time getting that in the car, because it was a big box. So we may go back and get that, but I thought, you know, we haven't even gotten to Halloween yet. We're still in fall and here we are Christmas and it was even Christmas music playing and it was just it was like you're really getting you into the mood for Christmas. All the Christmas lights were already set up and they had just a select items for Halloween. Really nothing for fall which is more so what I was looking for and then it was all Christmas. So my husband did go ahead and buy some Christmas lights because we were short a couple of lights um, strands last year and could not find any. And this was before Thanksgiving. So he decided to go ahead and get some just in case so that we'll have them. And then we may end up putting some out on our patio this year. And so he wanted to make sure we had plenty and they were on sale. So we went ahead and got those, but it just cracked me up that it was so early and I guess it's really not that early if you think about it, but it just seems like every year it gets earlier and earlier when you see all the Christmas decorations out. We were looking for my daughter a coat because at another store because she has almost outgrown hers. She can still wear it, but it's, it's getting to look a little bad. And we went and we're looking at coats. On one side, there were coats. On the other side, they were putting out um, swimming bathing suits and different um, things for the summer. Well, this is just absolutely crazy. He even get to the winter. Here we are thinking we're going to have a bad winter, and they were putting out bathing suits. So we found her a coat about three stores later. And then she saw a bathing suit she wanted. And I'm like, I'm not buying a bathing suit right now because you're not going to need it. And then when you do, you may not want that one. You're going to want another one. So we didn't get a bathing suit. But I thought that was kind of funny that they would have a bathing suit in October. And they were just putting them out. So it's not like that they had, you know, some left over from the summer. These were, they were right in the middle of putting them out. So it just was is a weird, you know, vibe because you have winter stuff on one side and then you have all this swimming stuff on the other one. That was kind of funny. And we went to 
Costco and we bought some things there that would tide, gonna tide us over for the next two or three months. Different paper goods and different things like that is what we usually get there and water and different things and some things that I cook with. So that will be one thing we won't have to worry about getting until probably after the holidays. Let's see, what else did we do? We did go out to dinner one night. Well, we didn't exactly go out to dinner. I shouldn't say we went out, we picked it up. We mean being my husband. We've gotten to where since the pandemic, we used to go out on Saturdays and just have, you know, dinner out, whether it was fast food or, you know, a nice restaurant or whatever. We went somewhere. And so now when we pick up dinner, we literally just pick it up and then bring it home. And we are all just happy with that. Got some drills that fell out. Now they're sticking. But we did that. And then on Wednesday nights, we're getting really bad on Wednesdays to where we go to the same place. We get the chicken fast food. And so we go there on Wednesdays because I have my card group that I do on Wednesdays. And we started doing that. Um, it was, it's been a while. And then we just kind of started going every Wednesday. And so at least one thing, I don't have to worry about meal planning for Wednesdays because we already know what it's going to be. Let's see. I hope you can see down here. I don't know why it's so dark. It's very gloomy out. And it doesn't help that I am in my basement. I thought I would turn off my one light because I have the actual light pad light and I did not want it to have a glare on camera, but that may not have been the best idea. I think it'll be okay for now anyway. And we did not go to the fair. I mentioned that we were gonna go to the fair on my last ribbon chat. We ended up not going to the fair, but we did go to a different place. We went to um, a fall festival and they, it was in a different location. They did have a few little rides. Um, they also had funnel cakes and the food. Um, they also had a lot of arts and crafts exhibits and booths. And so that was fun just to see, you know, what all that they had. And then my daughter ended up getting a funnel cake. She loves funnel cakes. And then I did get a corn dog, like I said I would. It wasn't too bad. That's the only time I really eat a lot of junk stuff um, is when we go out like that. But that was fun. We also picked some apples and brought those home. And so that was a lot of fun. We usually do that once a year. Um, we did go to another festival that was closer to Tennessee. And that was a moonshine festival. And they did have actual moonshine. And we tried it and it was awful. Um, <laughs> we've done that before. And then they had um, some different things, exhibits and stuff. So we, um, at least we were doing that. And then we went to a pumpkin farm and picked up a pumpkin. And so that's something that we need to do. We have not carved the pumpkin out yet. We're gonna do that sometime this week. And my daughter's really looking forward to that. She still talks about it from last year. I think it was the first time that she actually carved her own pumpkin was last year. And so she was really excited that she was able to carve her own and it looked good. So that's something that we need to do this week. This week is going to be extremely busy because of the fact that I have to go out of town.
Sorry, my dog is barking. She hears my husband outside and he's made some, a lot of noise and it scared her. <laughs> Let's see. I have out of town on Tuesday and then he's at home doing things. That makes it a little different when he's home. It kind of changes our routine a little bit for all of us. And then on Friday, I have um, some people coming into my class, international, that wants to observe how we handle our classes in the classroom. And then they also want to, to see what we do for online. And so that's gonna be on Thursday and Friday. And so I've got to plan for them to be in there and what can I do? I'm having to change what I planned on doing because that's not gonna work. But I think that will be good for my students to have them in there as well. So that's gonna be an all day thing on Friday. And then we'll be already at the weekend, but I think it's going to be so cold next weekend, we won't be able to do anything. We worked in our yard quite a bit this past weekend. Um, we have so many trees and we try to start raking the leaves as soon as they start to fall. Or that's what our plan is this year because we, we moved in last year, last July. We did not do that last year and we were still raking leaves up in the summer. It was just crazy. So we decided that this year we're gonna to try to get a handle on it. And we were raking leaves all weekend and you can't even tell by today that we've done anything. There's just too many trees on our property. And we've talked about having some removed, not just because we have too many leaves, but that um, some are looking really bad and we're just afraid that they're going to maybe um, fall. And if they do, they're gonna fall probably on a section of our house. So we're trying to be proactive on that. Go ahead and take those down. We need to have some pruned. So we do have that lined up. how these fit but they look like just looking using a, a light pad it looks like there's a gap or they're not straight and they are but sometimes you are good distortion with a light pad did we do anything else fun other than the festivals that we went to we may go to one more festival my daughter and I next weekend. It just depends on the weather. It depends if she feels like going. Sometimes she wants to go somewhere and sometimes she doesn't. So that will depend on what she wants to do. But we definitely need to go to the farmer's market because the farmer's market closes here at the end of October. So I want to be able to get some things that I will be able to use, put in the freezer or whatever. I like to make my own tomato sauce and spaghetti sauce. And I will need to get quite a few more tomatoes to make sure we have enough for, to put up the sauce for the winter. Cause we do eat a lot of soups and chili and spaghetti in the winter. I'm kind of weird. I don't like to eat a lot of, when, to me it's winter food in the summer. To me that's just winter food. Soup is winter food to me. Um, especially like vegetable soup, that to me is just winter food. Um, chili to me, it's winter food. My husband could eat it all the time. And my daughter doesn't care either, but I just think that to me is just, it's winter. Now I just saw where I'm gonna put all of these in a row. Where was I? I hate being all over the place on here, but I want to get this done. Got too many on here. 
I'm not really sure how I like these new Diamond Art Club square drills. I am just not really sure. How do you guys like these drills? Do you like the new Diamond Art Club drills? They're so flat, sometimes I have a hard time at first deciding which one is the, should go facing upward. I know that sounds kind of weird, but especially if you're not doing this in a well-lit place. I'm just not sure. And sometimes I have to, I just cannot get, when I'm doing multi-placing on these squares now, sometimes they don't want to lay flat like they should, even though they're flat anyway. Maybe it's just something I have to get used to. Let's see. Next weekend, I have to take the dogs to get groomed. They are so, so dirty. My collie loves the leaves. And she just takes a running leap. I mean, she just jumps in the air like a horse. And she just goes and just jumps and falls right into a pile of leaves. I think she likes to hear the leaves rustle. And she gets so excited. And then she just does it again. I'm afraid she's going to get hurt. But she's been, she started doing this last year. And she was a puppy then. And we tried to stop her. And she just kept on. So I don't know if that's just something that she's going to do forever. Or if it's just something that's maybe she'll outgrow. But she comes in and she has leaves all over her. And then trying to brush her out is not easy because she doesn't want to be still. She just cannot be still except when she's asleep. And that's not very often. So she's like a two-year-old, 65, 70-pound puppy. Even though she's two, she's just like she was when we, when we got her. And I guess that's a good thing. This is turning out really pretty. This is going to be a flower here. I'm almost to the bridge up here. I know this will not even be close to completed by the end of October. And so I'm working, I'm hoping to have this one going into November and then also plan on having my Diana Diamond Painting Deutschland that will go into November, December timeframe for that one, and then see what else I want to do. I need to have a smaller one kitted up so I can take that one on the go when I'm going to work and I have some downtime, which I don't think that's going to be much downtime between now and January, since I am taking off but I would like to have it in my bag just in case. Um, let's see, what else in the diamond painting world? With um, diamond painting, I don't know if you saw my um, announcement post um, underneath the community um, tab, or it automatically will pop up too sometimes, but um, there is a retreat that's coming up and Mindy, and I'll put her information down too. I think I'm going to call this one good. I still have quite a bit over here to do. And I am going to have a progress update on this one because I've had several that want to see it or is very interested in this painting. And I am really looking forward to getting more done. So hopefully I will be able to um, sooner rather than later. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that I'm all over the place today. I feel kind of scattered. I do have notes. I don't know why I'm so scattered on this one, but I do appreciate um, all of your support. And if you don't mind, if you will just click on that like button before you leave. If you have not subscribed, I would love to have you as a subscriber. And until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.